Hello everybody, this is Technoli. And today I want to show you guys how to clone a Hackintosh drive. The easiest way to do it. But first, I want to talk about the Technoli channel for a second. I want to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel, for commenting on the channel, for supporting the channel, uh, for all you guys do. It is unbelievably appreciated. I want you to know that. I unfortunately cannot get to so many comments that you guys leave because I'm a one-man show. And right now, with me doing customer builds and with all of the tech support that I offer people, paid tech support, it's just, and then trying to do videos too, it's, it's just pretty much overwhelming. And I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but it's just the amount of hours in a day is just not enough. So I tried to get to your questions in the, in the comment area, but some days I just can't get to it. So I wanted to just show you guys that a lot of you don't know that I even have a Technoli website. Okay, it's technoli.com. And here, for all you guys that don't know, this is where you can download all the EFIs that I talk about in my videos. And this is our links to all of the things that you need. Okay, so I wanted you to be aware, and especially you need new guys out there, wanted you to be aware of what you know I'm offering right now. I do have a paid support page. Now here you can get help from me. Um, of course, I'm going to answer paid tech questions within a day of receiving them. Um, right here for $10, you know, we have these ask tech questions and then personal help is to help you get your, your OS installed on your computer. And then video chat support, this is like guaranteed to get you up and running or you get your money back so you have nothing to lose there uh, we do actually do a video chat and we use team viewer to get your computer up and running so I just wanted you to be aware I offer paid support uh, to help people get up and running so just wanted you to be aware of what all I'm trying to offer with this Technoli YouTube channel and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of cool builds this summer. So uh, it's going to be very, very busy. And I hope you continue to watch the videos and subscribe. You people that have not subscribed yet, please do hit that notification bell so you know when I go live with a new video. So that's over with. Let's get to cloning your Mac hard drive. Okay? So. You all know, the biggest question that I get asked is, what about updates? Like this one right here that's ready to, do, ready to go. So this computer right here has a macOS Catalina 1015.5 supplemental update that's available. Now, as far as Hackintosh goes, let me explain to you the updates, you know, and the future updates and la la la. I have been personally very successful doing the updates, but I am never going to tell my subscribers that everything is just fine. Go ahead and update. And then you have a complete hard drive failure because something didn't go right. So I always tell everybody, please back up your boot drive before you do any updates, okay? If your computer is running stable and you use it daily for very important things, I probably, and I don't on my personal machine, don't do updates because if my computer is stable, why do I wanna risk doing any updates? Like the other day, we had the Designare motherboard, the Z390 gigabyte, that the 1015.5 update killed the onboard graphics for the, on the e, uh, for the EFI folder. So now we have to find a new way to get the graphics working. So this is my opinion. Um, 
it's up to you. But if you've got a stable machine, I certainly wouldn't do any updates. Now, what happens when future, like let's say the Catalina is done and they come out with a new operating system, let's call it Jupiter. And so they come out with Jupiter and, uh, you know, 1016.1. And you say, oh, I want to do the update. That's a whole different ball game because now we're talking about installing a new OS that has never been tested by the open core guys that may or may not work. So that's the whole purpose of this video is to show you how the easiest way that I have found to clone your drive. So I am going to clone this Mac OS drive. This is my my boot up drive, right? And here is just an old SSD that I had laying around that I'm going to back up to. All right. So let's go over to the web and let's get a copy of carbon copy cloner. This is probably the most friendly software that you could find. And we're going to download it and we'll download the latest version now this is free has a free trial okay and then you know uh, a paid version if you get to the point where you need to uh, to use it long term but let's open it up let's get it installed move to the applications folder let me close this out okay and i'll close this out and so here it is, this real simple graphical interface. Here is my Mac OS. I'm going to do the trial version. Three, two, one, there it goes. So here's my, what I call the C drive. That's my Mac OS. And here is the drive I want to clone to. So I'm going to choose a different destination. And there it is. So click on there. And then it says, if you allow CCC to erase the volume at the beginning of the disk, CCC can create a bootable copy of Mac OS on this volume. Well, we want to do that, so allow. All right. So then all we do is click clone. And away it goes. Now, as soon as this is done, I'll come back and show you what we need to do. OK, so it is done. So we just go out of here and you want to grab on my website you can download this mount efi okay right click and open and what i have to do is we have to mount the hard drive my boot drive right here which is number three so i'm going to select number three hit enter put in your password and we also want to mount the number two, which is clone, not the data, not clone data, but clone. So hit two and hit enter. All right, now we can go out of here and we can go over here to computer. So here's my clone drive and here is the EFI folder on my boot drive. And here is the EFI folder that was just created by Carbon Copy Clone. There's nothing in here. So if we were just to, okay, cloner's done, we just finish, shut down, and then make our clone drive, the boot drive, it's not going to boot because we don't have our EFI folder in here. So we have to go to our boot drive EFI, copy this one, Go over here and put it into our newly created clone drive. All right. Now I'm going to shut down and I'm going to boot from the clone drive. Okay. So let's go back and let's make sure this works. Okay, guys, coming back up here. We're going to get our little picker screen. And so number two on, on my computer is my boot drive and number four is the clone drive so let's boot from the clone drive now and see everything is working fine it boots up but if we hadn't copied that EFI folder from the EFI partition of my boot drive to the EFI partition of the clone drive then this wouldn't work 
So we're now on the SSD that I have connected to this computer. Now let's say we had a complete failure. So you got your Hackintosh up and running. You cloned it with Carbon Copy Cloner. And now you've got this little SATA drive or maybe you got you know an old spinner drive, whatever. But you've got a backup of your original OS and maybe all of your programs and data and all that stuff. And now your boot drive has failed because maybe you did an update or who knows what happened, but your boot drive is not booting anymore. So now I'm booted up to my clone drive that I made. I simply just go back to Carbon Copy Cloner and use the trial version. Okay, right here it says, do I want to activate the uh, CCC backup task and I'm gonna leave it suspended because there's no reason to initialize that I'm just using it as a clone drive so we enable and we go over here so here's my source disk right here and I am going to choose a different source I'm gonna choose clone you cannot copy a volume to itself and you say OK and then I'm going to choose my Mac OS and this now this destination is the drive that's messed up that I can't boot to right so I got source I got the clone drive I got the destination my original boot drive and I'm going to clone it alright now we'll be right back when this gets done alright so it's done now let's go out of here and we still have to copy that EFI. So let's go over here. Let's use the mount EFI and open up the EFI partition on clone password. And the EFI partition on number three, which is my Mac OS, which is my NVMe drive on this one. And I definitely want to boot from my NVMe. We'll go over here. And here's the clone. There is the clone EFI. So I copy this. Go back over here. And look, that EFI is still in there. So this drive was not destroyed. So I still have an EFI folder in here. All right. And here is all of my system stuff. But if it was empty, then I would just simply copy and paste it right into here all right so now let's go back let's restart and let's boot from that NVMe drive and make sure that carbon copy did not mess it up okay so let's boot from Mac OS which is my old boot drive and we're good we are good we're booting up so this is the only way that I would try updates on a computer that you know I've got all of my software loaded on it maybe I've got a bunch of documents and stuff on there that I don't want to lose I don't want to have to copy them again you know so this is a great choice to clone your drive and that way if anything happens in the future you don't have to get in touch with me you can just clone your drive back you'll be back up and be back in business so that's it on this one short little video today um, I hope everybody enjoyed it I hope it will answer a lot of questions as to what I should use to make sure I back up my drive and the beautiful thing about carbon copy is, is you can do updates you know every now and then so you can just hook up your old SATA drive to it or you can even have another NVMe if you want to use it as your clone drive and uh, you can do supplemental updates all the time say you want to uh, you've put uh, more programs on your computer do another backup you know but test your backup to make sure that it boots don't just assume that it's going to boot test it because you may forget to copy that EFI folder to the EFI partition on the clone drive and it won't boot so there you go hope you enjoyed it thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe all you new people out there Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.